Hi everybody, uh, it's Mike Ladd and uh, welcome back to some more Path of Exile. And uh, we're doing another one hour time boxed uh, Descent Champions, which is the new Descent League. If you saw me play the last one, I'm just doing this class, which is a new class uh, that they added in the 1.0 patch. It's a prestige class, which means you don't get it right when you start the game. But if you finish a game one time, uh, then you get this class. The reason I don't give it to you off the, off the, the, the start is because it's kind of difficult to figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do with it. And I'll give you a rough overview. It's kind of not exactly a, a great racing class, but basically you start in the middle of the tree. You have a little bit of every stat. Uh, usually when you'd play something like Witch and you'd be like a Spellcaster Summoner or a Templar, you'd do like a bit of strength and, I don't know, elemental strength, kind of like bashing people with a mace or something. And then Marauders, obviously. Like, obviously these, these classes all have their defined roles, but you're like, what the fuck are you supposed to do with this? Well, when you leave the tree, you get you can either choose from things like mana, you know, life regeneration, uh, projectile damage, or some resists, uh, some attack speed, and some spell damage. You're not supposed to do everything. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kind of pick out uh, a, a, a kind of a hybrid strength that requires you to go into the middle, the middle of the tree. So something like Eldritch Battery, which converts all your energy shield to mana, and... Uh, down here, mind over matter, which uh, is these are this is a new passive that was added in 1.0. Uh, Thirty percent of damage taken is taken from mana before life, which is a really cool passive. Uh, but like that normally wouldn't be possible for like a witch because she'd have to go all the way down here and then like, kind of randomly go through these nodes. And it, these aren't really that great for the witch to to start as that. Uh, so the reason you'd start as um. The scion is mostly just so you can get through the middle of the tree really easily and do like some interesting hybrid builds. Uh, usually you do not do all three. Uh, you don't do intelligence, dex, and strength. You just do, you just kind of pick two and go for it. Uh, but the, the scion is a really cool class. And then we're going to be using a little ability called uh, spectral throw to start this off. And also I can't bring out my kiwi because for some reason the shop doesn't have anything. I don't know why they removed all this crap before. I'm also going to put move on my middle click. Um, but yeah, so... It, this is not exactly the best racing class in my opinion, because you can't really... These health nodes, you get a fuck ton of health nodes right here in the tree. I can't get to them very easily. It requires a couple points investment, so... Oh, well. You know, as I said, I'll show it off. I like the class. I really like the class. Uh, so I'm just picking up a bunch of crap here. Corroded blade, buckler. Yeah, we don't need anything else here. So you can do f they give you fucking everything. And today we're gonna carry around the Thunder of Dawn corro uh, corroded blade and uh, this rustic stash. Uh, unfortunately, it's a, it is a race. This blade has a lot of lightning damage, and uh, it has a chance to shock as well. And these white slots mean I can put anything I want into them, which is cool. And we're not gonna bother with these two, so we're just gonna drop them on the ground. So as is the rules with every league like this, uh, I can do whatever I want. I'm just I have a macro to, to uh, sync me back up with the server. So if you see me running around, these these races tend to desync a lot. So that's why I'm kind of uh, going in that kind of mentality. Now I'm, I've gotten better at racing, but you know I may be just a bloody liar. Uh, now, I don't have to... If I carry around armor, unfortunately, my move speed goes down by about 4%, but that's okay. 4% ain't so bad. Uh, so, the heavier the armor, the more of a problem you're going to have with uh, movement speed. Uh, so, if you... One of the tips they do for races is, uh, hey, if you don't want to get fucking slowed down, you can just not carry around armor. I have nothing more to give. But, you know, you can see the, the, the people, like, there's a bunch of messages I'm getting, and they're really good at racing. I'm, I, I don't... I don't hope to be that good ever. I'm a dirty casual when it comes to racing. So I'm going to carry around the Iron Greaves. And to start me off, I'm going to actually get projectile damage, because projectile damage actually does count. This is a projectile that I'm using right now. Uh, and so that's I'm mainly going to do a spectral throw base build. And uh, once again, I'm going to you know keep it in until I die or whatever. And it's going to be cool. This is actually a really neat race. It's like there's a lot more options involved as well. And we start inside like uh, it's a little bit different. And my health is getting a bit low. So special throw and fire traps. I'm actually carrying around the fire traps because they're pretty useful for splash damage. 
like things I, I haven't been using them at all here. Eat, eat fire traps. So I just set everything on fire. Now, unfortunately, you don't get uh, the option of the Quicksilvers, which is what you saw me go going for in when I did Descent the last time. Uh, Quicksilvers are actually very hard to find. Chain belt. Uh, actually, I don't need that because I have a physical belt. Oh, fuck off, everyone. Oh, God. This might be bad. Actually, for some reason, there's spikes. See those spikes that, that are going like out of them? That's the fucking huge problem with those guys. For whatever reason, though. Oh, God damn it, towels. These are towels, by the way. No, they're, they're ribbons, but we call them towels. Um, yeah, the, the, the spikes are a huge issue because they, they do damage to you when you kill them, basically. And so it can already add, like, way less... Life is good. Damn, like way less health than you already have than you need. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go for is I'm gonna get some attack speed because attack speed also uh, benefits spectral throw a little bit. And actually, I didn't talk about spectral throw at all. And what kind of ability is they added this once again for the 1.0 patch? And it's basically the signature skill of the scion. And all you do is you just make like an ethereal version of your weapon. So, like, the, I guess the idea is that whatever weapon you're throwing, the best weapons to throw are basically, like, this is a dex intelligence skill. However, usually the weapons you're going to be throwing are, are strength based. Because uh, the bigger the weapon, and when I, when I say the bigger the weapon, I mean, like, two-handed swords are fucking amazing now. There's so many of these Sonics. Oh, dear God. Okay, they're called Porcupine Goliath, but we call them Sonics, too. Guess why? Um, so the bigger the weapon, the more it'll hit, because the hitbox of the weapon actually accounts for, like it's it's a smart system they have for this. It's it's actually pretty neat. So like you know, the bigger the weapon you have, the more things it'll hit, and the more damage it'll do. So you know, it doesn't matter if you don't have a, like a, a shield or anything, because it's like fuck that shit. You don't need that. And I have a lot of mana potions. But no, not enough anything else potions. All right, so we either have a choice between the cre the the chattering halls and croaking halls. We're gonna go into the croaking halls, just because I said so. And in the curious chest, we have fucked out of orbs of whatever, and some other shit. Uh, also, okay. Uh, this is uh, so we're not gonna use Ice Nova. We're not gonna use Viper. Well, I should keep Viper Strike. Rain of Arrows, fuck that. We're not doing any kind of arrow-based ability. I could have Cleave, just because. Because, whatever. And that's it. Oh god, these guys. Alright, let's leave. This is one- It's kind of nice on swords like this. Where the hell are they? Okay. Thanks, server. Um, and also, I want to get that health potion on ASAP. See, when I'm missing like this, there's something wrong with, like, the latency. Or I'm missing. Okay, never mind. I lied. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so Spectral Throw. Really nice signature skill. Very useful. It's actually borderline OP. So, you know, it's... Like, I, I, I would recommend picking it up. It's, it's a fun, it's a fun ability. I hate these leapers. But it does like, it does like 60% of your, your base weapon damage. But this sword in particular, it, it is really good at like dealing shock damage. And also against the first boss, it's also very nice. Also, I should have gone into the Chattering Halls because I hate these suppression guys. They're horrible. Alright, another orb here. I can go upgrade some items or whatever if I want to. So that, that suppression ability that they have, it, it lowers my, my chance to hit. Or, no, no, sorry, lowers my cooldown, so I, it takes me longer to do my attacks. But I, I really like the fact that there's so much damage to the, like, so much radius to this ability. And, you know, you can put it on, like, uh, uh, the, the multiple projectiles gem, although you won't be seeing me do that here, because I simply can't. Alright, so that we have an iron ring. I'm gonna actually alchemy that, and that's gonna get me some crappy stats, so. Uh, that was amazing, wasn't that, guys? Because... You know, Iron Ring does add to the damage of my ability, but unfortunately, fuck, I didn't get it. Alright, this is a lot of guys. This could be really bad. 
Unfortunately, uh, sorry, fortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately, my fucking abilities of, uh, throwing swords around are really overpowered, so. Uh, let's just throw out these. We're never gonna use these again. Fuck these things. There's no vendor to sell anything to, so why am I keeping them? Who knows? So, yeah, so the full, the full extent of the damage, and, like, it could also kind of, like, rubber band back, like, kind of, like, you see how it flies back to me? You can hit people with it while it's going back. That's what makes it amazing. So it's like two hits, usually at the very least. That is assuming that it, the server registers the hit. Alright, and Paul Amulet, that's... Actually, this Paul Amulet, let's go add a, uh, some life regeneration shit to it. That sounds fucking amazing. So, we also leveled up and we'll put that into more projectile damage. Because I really need to get into... Fucking... Blue guys. Now the blue guys in races you always want to stop for because they give you a shit ton of, uh, of of experience basically. That's why they're really nice. I'm gonna actually go down to that area in my map, and I walk really freaking slow. I kind of miss Quicksilver's. So you know, if I want though, the, the great thing about this class is if I want more mana regen. I have like one, it's just one node. One node and I put it in, it's right beside my tree, just to get some mana regen. You know, you are fucking so welcome to do that. It's so easy to do it. Okay, we're going to now the Rasping Hall. Didn't get a choice this time, but I usually get a chest over here. And it's just a bunch of retarded ass gems and stuff, so yay. And these guys are a pain in the ass, because they, they have like freezing damage and shit. They'll, they'll freeze you, they'll freeze you good. And one thing I failed to mention about my my, my gear, so the stash, uh, not the stash, the sash I picked up, um, basically gives me some more physical damage, some more elemental damage. Uh, I'm in, apparently in the room now because I did the command because that guy wasn't taking any hits. So I do more physical, more do more elemental, and I also get uh, some better. My my potions become more effective, which I figure for a short race such as this is actually a really good idea. Okay, now I got that. Um, the sword, however, is not necessarily... It's the best, I think, two-hander. I think it's the only one. They have a they have a staff there, too, which I, I tried and I wasn't too fond of. And the staff doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage. Um, yeah, there we go. Now we're taking the damage, because this guy has the damage. And one of the thing, nice things is... Yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, <laughs> she says a lot. Okay, the thing about the sign is she says a lot of fucking dialogue, like way too much. She cannot keep her mouth shut at any point during the game when you play it. Like, like when you're going through it normally, she says things all the time. None of the other characters in this game talk as much as she doesn't. I'm gonna just disregard these guys and go directly to the freezing chamber, which is a horrible place. God damn it! All right, we get basically two quicksilvers and these aviation. A, V, whatever, slippers. And so what you do with this is we will transmute it. And we got another 10% movement speed. So that we're going to regal that now. And we're going to get 15 life on that. And now we're never going to use another fucking pair of boots ever again. Because that's that's adding so much to my uh, movement speed. It's not even funny. Like, I'm not laughing, guys. Okay, but this is a horrible place because... Um, why did I just pick up another life flask? Who fuck knows? Um... This is a horrible place because uh, everything is frozen here. And the guys who are around are going to freeze you to some more too. So let's get more projectile damage because uh, Mike always believes in a good offense. Something about a defense, I don't know. And there we go. So the Shroud of the Pagan God. Okay, this is the first boss. Now, the one thing I need to mention about the sword is it does have a lightning resistance. Which uh, you're going to realize why it's going to come in handy real soon. Hopefully I'm not going to get fucked. Oh, fuck you. He lightning warps. Basically, when you see the fucking indicator, you need to run the fuck away. But he does damage to you anyways, because of weird server shit. No, no, no. Stop shocking me. I'm sick of that. Okay, we're going to go over here. I'm going to kill some of his friends. Because uh, I'm losing fucking potions like no other. Actually, I would. Ah, oh, damn it! I dropped that health potion. Fuck me. 
Yep. Oh, wow, he didn't hit me. Luckily, I can be range him. If you're not range, if you're fucking close range, it can really suck. Alright. I don't think there's anything else I want there. Mm, I want to scroll wisdom. Okay, so I, I don't want to replace anything else. The, the circulate, though, will help because I can get some more energy shield. Also, I get a book of skill, which gives me two skill points. Uh, so let's go put that into here. We're just traveling to that fucking health tree because of the fact I really need health, especially this early on. Now, um, you're probably wondering, like, if you've looked at the tree, there's actually these uh, Malay physical nodes. And you're like, Mike, why aren't you doing that? You're fucking Malay, aren't you? You want damage? Uh, here's the thing. Malay physical doesn't actually count for this ability. Um, which is odd, I know. But it's it's just a weird way it works, because you're not malaying things, but physical damage counts. You gotta really like the the the, the wording of, of some of the abilities, it's it's correct. It is actually right. Um, so you have to actually read really into it. So when it says specifically Malay physical it's not referring to when I throw my fucking sword at things. Uh, it doesn't affect it. And you know what, to be honest, it's a really OP ability anyways to begin with. So, I I would not- oh, actually I have a Quicksilver. Actually, why didn't I transmute that? I'm a damn idiot. Maybe I'll do that in a minute. Alright, uh, let's go just transmute this one real quick. Increased armor? Don't mind if I re-roll that, uh, yeah, no, that's kind of crap too. I want to get, like, speed or something. Extra charges is fine. Okay, we'll do, we'll roll with that. Extra charges means I can now get, like, a three, uh, three things out of my... Well, when you get extra charges, I can use it three times instead of twice. I have nothing more to give. Yeah, no one cares. Uh, I can't use those chain gloves yet. So, uh, the way I'm gonna just roll my character, like, this this sword still works fine. Um, I'm going to basically use it for as long as it's effective for, which means it should be effective for still a good amount of time. I mean, I, I'm not really looking at a timer to see how far I am into this. But, yeah. Anyways, the Scion, um, I haven't done too many builds with it. The only thing I think of, I want to really do something with mana shields, because I, I don't normally do things that I really want to do. Go across the tree. I'm still like a, a, a whore for like spellcasters. Um, oh, that's a nice ring. Look at that. Out of my way. Lapis amulet. Uh, we'll take it just in case I have some sort of intelligence need. Uh, this is a better one, but we're also we're gonna now roll this one. Increased rarity. Nope. Uh, that's totally useless. Okay, whatever. Actually, I'll keep I'll keep this around just in case I I want to have more life at some point. Alright, Dungeon of Necromancy or the Hollow Cave? Let's go into the Dungeon of Necromancy. Okay, and that lag for a sec. Alright, we got Lightning Strike. U useless. I don't know. Hatred I'll keep around, just in case. I don't need that belt. I, I didn't mean to pick it up. Drop the leather belt. Okay, this is level 10. We're level 7. So actually, now we're going to take our sweet time. Because there's, there's skelly, skeletons everywhere. I actually probably, I, I only don't like, I only like to be like two levels below a place. And then like I gain like two levels while I'm running around it. And then I skillfully made my projectile go and, and attack him. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I, I really like, uh, I really like the, uh, the special throw ability. I think it's really kind of neat and fun to play with. There's a lot of good builds you can do with it. Um, it is a little bit too much of, like, flavor of the week, though. How dare you curse me. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's just get back here, because I, I don't want to be surrounded. Oh, there we go. See, we, we level up no problem. So, let's go put this into life nodes. I love them. Okay, I hear a necromancer up there, so let's go kick his ass. And the really nice thing is, like, especially when they're all grouped up like this, like, I'm getting so many hits off, and there's another Necromancer there. And I don't think I'm hitting him. There we go. Now we got him. And Spectral Throw and Fire Trap will up. The, the Fire Trap ability, which of course I'm not using. Now, if anything's gonna kill me here, it's gonna be desync. I'm, I'm not I'm not lying. I've already died way too many times to shit like that. It's not actually a common problem with this game. 
Uh, it was actually much better in the open, the, sorry, the, the open and closed beta. The, the problem, if you can call it a problem, is that everybody's playing this game. Um, it is very popular, it's on Steam and everything. Uh, and so, it's just simply the servers are especially overloaded during times of races, because everybody's playing, everybody loves the races. Especially the Descent ones, they're, they're especially kind of laggy.